How to Grow a Wild Heart. One, break every day. Let yourself be searched out by the light, cracked open by love, and lay bare by what you find in the rough edges and deep crevasses of your broken heart. Two, keep breaking. Three, until you are unrecognizable. Four, and what is left is the unfettered kind of love, the kind that topples empires, undomesticated love, which roars and tumbles out like a river released from a dam being made civilized, cascading, raging, and sacred. Five, repeat. Until the centuries of intergenerational numbness begin to peel away, layer after layer, again and again. Until you can hear the still small voice that is, in fact, not so still or so small, but dances and shouts. Until you can listen to the heart of the world speaking through you, asking you how you will free up your heart to be used, asking you how your life will speak, asking how it will lean, adding further tension to the moral arc of the universe, forcing a deeper bend. Six, keep breaking. Seven, keep breaking until you can no longer find the pieces of the heart you once thought was yours and there is only a space left, a vessel, a receptacle, a channel for sacred instructions. Eight, listen to them. Breathe into them, stretch yourself to fill their shape, fill the holy footprints laid out before you, keep walking through the dark. Nine, trust that it is okay to leap, that there is an unwaverable net holding you, woven by your ancestors and the ancestors of those you will never meet. It has been knitted together by everything and everyone who's ever lived and died here. It is ever present and everywhere. The net is holding you so that you can let go of what you there ever was. It is holding you so you can keep breaking 10, keep breaking.